the vegetarian burger that I had in that restaurant. The tomatoes tasted very strange, but it wouldn't be a real adventure if I didn't get food poisoning at least once with it. This is not a great day to get food poisoning. I'm supposed to fly out tomorrow, and I'm supposed to get a tattoo today. In like two hours, and I don't know what to do. Can you get a tattoo with food poisoning? Like, I know a lot of you be like, no, rest. But I'm like, I want to tattoo it down. I know how to deal with food poisoning at this point. I mean, activated charcoal can work. I didn't have any of that, so I just kind of waited it out. When you're recovering, be sure to eat very simple, bland foods and drink a lot of water. I'm doing better. The sharp pangs of pain went away, so now it's just kind of like a headache. I'm like really weak, but it's gonna be a small tattoo. It's not gonna be something that's gonna be super um, crazy. So I feel like it'll, it'll be fine. I just have to get there. I'm tired, but I don't want to sleep. I think sometimes the longer you sit in your pain, the longer it lasts. What do I do this to myself? <sighs> Let's sit here. Go with bag. Be a little breathless. <laughs> so here we are at Inkology. It's the only tattoo shop in Dahab. Fortunately, it's a good tattoo shop. It's also owned by a female, and I always love to get tattooed by females because it's not as common as male tattooists. This is so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. It suits you. How long have you been doing tattoos? Four years now. Nice. 2017. I traveled to India and I studied there and then came back to the States. What, what are tattoos like in the rest of Egypt, like, do a lot of people... It's, it's getting more um, and more popular now. But it didn't yeah. used to be so much? Yeah, yeah. it used to be very difficult in the beginning. Yeah. Badly looked upon. Yeah. Like, frowned upon. <laughs> First time. Usually it takes like four different <laughs> spots. So I decided to get the Eye of Ra. I wanted to get a very Egyptian-inspired tattoo. I think it would be a really cool idea to get tattoos from different countries that I visit out of respect for their culture and just to remember my time and the places that I've been. The Eye of Ra is a representation of the femininity of the sun god Ra and it represents power and protection and light. The Eye of Ra, for the most part, is the female counterpart of Ra, which I think it's cool that it represents femininity, but it also represents aggression. The tattoo itself was very, very fast. She made it very painless, and it turned out really well. And then you just wrap it for three days, and I don't have to worry about it. I feel fine. Fine. Recovered. Then a little tattoo therapy can't fix. And now I'm going to bike home and I need to pack and go to Cairo. Okay, so I'm home and I got my tattoo souvenir, which I'm very happy that I went um, feeling better. There's definitely some, you know, abdominal discomfort, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was like last night slash this morning. So we're good. It's not as bad as the food poison I got in Thailand. Now I just need to pack up my entire life. Um, I need to edit. There's a lot of things I want to do today, but... But yeah, her line work is incredible. I would know because I get um, quite a few tattoos and some tattoo artists just don't do good line work. It's very interesting, the, you know, the tattoo culture in every country. Like, I, I feel like my tattoos, I don't really regret them usually because it's, it's kind of like a scrapbook of my life. Passport stamps. <laughs> every time I go into a new country. I'm not going to end this video quite yet. I want to be completely done with my food poisoning and tell you guys that I'm fully recovered and maybe I'll, I'll end it in Cairo. Yeah, we gotta cover up now.
no one's gonna see my fresh new tat. Gotta cover up now. So I'm still having a lot of sharp stomach pangs. Hopefully don't shit all over the airplane in the airport. I'm a lady, <laughs> wouldn't ever do that. But let's go to Charm and then kind of. If you don't already know, Dahab is a very, very chill, quiet, oceanside town. Going from Dahab to Cairo was a huge culture shock. I'll never put down a city. I think they're all wonderful in their own ways. But like I said, the culture shock of Cairo was probably the biggest that I've had thus far in my travels, just because it's so different than what I'm used to. We don't have a lot of time to spend in Cairo, so we had to get a PCR test just to be sure in case we can get to the next country. So the first day, we just went straight to get a PCR test. I'm fully vaccinated, but the rules for traveling are so confusing. It's better safe than sorry. I'm gonna leave this video off here to be continued and we're going to have a full Cairo day for the next video. So stay tuned, I love you very much. Stay extraterrestrial and I'll see you soon.